I know you're a huge Laker fan. They just lost Dwight. They got Chris Kamen. They got Nick Young. Kobe's coming off his injury. What does Warren Moon say about all that? Well, it's, it's disappointing they didn't get Dwight, but if if, uh, if a guy doesn't want to be here, you, you really don't want him here, you know? And uh, they tried everything they could to possibly keep him here, but he wanted to go somewhere else, and, and that's his prerogative, being a free agent. The Lakers have always historically put a good good team on the on the court and I think they'll do that again this year. It might not be what everybody kind of envisioned, but I think as long as you have Kobe Bryant, if he's healthy, and some of the other pieces they have, Paul Gasol and that, they'll be very competitive. What is it about losing Meta World Peace? Yeah, it's, it's too bad, but you know, he might have played out his welcome here and he's getting a chance to go home and play in his hometown in New York, so I think it worked out well for him and I think the Lakers you know, will save some money by uh, not having him on the team and then go out and get some younger players, which is what they need. Who has a better year this year, the Clippers or the Lakers? On paper you say I have to say the Clippers, but it's a long season, injuries have a lot to do with it, so you never know. I know you're a big fight fan, September 14, Mayweather Canelo. That'll be a good one. I think that'll be one of his toughest tests to date. Uh, Canelo's undefeated, a uh, big puncher, but Mayweather's just a very, very uh, classy boxer. So it's hard to beat a classy boxer. You definitely have to beat him. Pacquiao Rios in China, Brandon Rios from Oxnard, Manny Pacquiao, of course, is back in. Big pardon? Pacquiao Rios. Yeah. They're fighting in November. You know, I got to go with Pacquiao. I'd really love to see the Mayweather Pacquiao fight, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. I think that's what most of the public would love to see, but it's a shame those two guys can't get together. My last question, what, way off from sports, what do you think of the Trayvon Martin case and how that panned out? You know, it's just a tragic situation, first of all. You know, a 17-year-old boy lost his life. Um, the jury had a tough decision to, to come up with that decision of, of being not guilty. It's hard to say that somebody lost their life and there, somebody wasn't uh, responsible for that or, or should pay some type of penalty for that, but the law is the law and I guess the jury went by the law as much as they possibly could. The, the tragic thing is there's two parents that lost a young child and, and, and uh, no matter if, it, if he was guilty or innocent, that won't bring the kid back and that's, that's the main thing. So my heart goes out to the family. Michael Vick said, I killed dogs that went to jail. Here's a person, a human being passed away. Doesn't just, it's well, our, yeah, our justice system isn't perfect. You know, we, it's probably one of the best justice systems in the world, there's no question about it, but they, we don't always get it right, and um, who knows if we got it right this time, but like I said, the bottom line is there's a young kid dead. Thank you so much, Warren. Always a pleasure talking to you. Okay, thank you.